This is a beautiful sunny day. I'm at the Wendy's in Jasper, Georgia. I'm Joe, this is the Joe is Hungry channel, and today I'm gonna check out their brand new Crispy Panko Wild Caught Alaskan Pollock Sandwich. What can I get for you? Three of the Alaskan Pollock sandwiches. Alrighty, anything else for you? No, that's it. Hello. 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 Alright, so you got three fish? It is time. Okay, so we're cooking them first for you, alright? So like two to three minutes, alright? Pull over to a parking spot, I got you coming up. There. Bro. Thank you, man. You Uh -huh. Where? Huh? Three fish? Okay. That's yeah. me. <laughs> you. Sorry. Thank you. We've got our fish sandwiches. Now it's time to do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. This thing comes in a blistering. 190.1 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cooked fresh, that's cooked to order. There's no question about it. So they win the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time for further evaluation. So let's return to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in the self-absorbed and well-known speed trap of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, I've been up to Jasper at the Wendy's and we're checking out their Lent special. It's called the Crispy Panko wild caught Alaskan Pollock sandwich. And of course, this is a limited time offer. The Alaskan fish sandwich is made up of Alaskan Pollock filet, panko breading, creamy dill tartar sauce, pickles lettuce, all on American cheese. Each one of these solo will set you back $4.19. You can get them as a small, medium, or large combo. The prices on those, the small will be $6.79, the medium is $7.49, and the large is $7.99. And for you calorie counters and number crunchers, this thing weighs in at 521 calories. If you wanna see the rest of the nutritional stats, I have them on the screen and in the description below. Now it's time to move on to the next test, and that would be the Joe is Hungry weight test. Now, Wendy's doesn't post any serving weights on their website, so I bought three of these sandwiches so I could check for consistency from Crispy Panko to Crispy Panko sandwich. And of course, I've allowed for the weight of the packaging. In other words, I've set the tear on the scales. Crispy Panko sandwich, number one, weighs in at seven point three zero ounces. Crispy Panko sandwich number two weighs in at 6.75 ounces. And Crispy Panko sandwich number three weighs in at 7.15 ounces. They have some variation in the weights, but I think they're still within spec, so they pass the Joe is Hungry weight test, which leaves one more test, the Joe is Hungry big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we've seen how much it weighs, and uh, we saw how much it was. That only leaves one more test, and of course, it's the Joe is Hungry, Bite test. Bite test? 
Engage. Not a bad sandwich. There's plenty of meat. It's a very girthy sandwich. It has a little bit of heft to it. I actually kind of like it. The fish is a little bit more flakier than what they had last year with the cod. I like that. It has a little bit more of a fish taste. They could have used a little bit more lettuce. Um, the tartar sauce works well with it. The pickles, you can, I could take them or leave them. It was definitely cooked fresh. It was definitely cooked to order. It was really very hot. I like the cheese. Uh, the fish patty is plenty big. I like the panko crust. It's kind of crunchy and holds everything together. As far as the value, well, that's kind of middle of the road. It doesn't really thrill me. If it had been $3.50, I would have said, this is an excellent value. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my scale, my scale is 1 to 10. 9 being the best, anything above 9 is a once in a lifetime experience. If you want to see my scale, it is on the screen and in the description below. So let's go ahead and uh, give this bad boy a number. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go with a 7.4. That is a very good score. That's my review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, leave a comment, and we will see you in the next video.